Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Lulu's try-on haul to share with y'all and I found so many beautiful pieces. Y'all are going to love today's video. Not only is everything really versatile in your wardrobe, but it's all really affordable as well. I think everything I found was under 80 at least and i also found some really beautiful look for less options so really excited to get styling these pieces with y'all i'll also be sharing some upcoming holiday outfit inspiration as well everything will be linked in the description box down below and a special thanks to lulu's for sponsoring today's video. all right so outfit number one features this metallic pleated skirt and then this chocolate turtleneck i get requests to style pleated skirts often y'all seem to love them as much as i do they're so comfortable but you look really put together and I find them very versatile as well this one has a metallic sheen it's almost like a gold but it's a really pretty neutral color and with a piece like this you can definitely incorporate it into your holiday outfits but it's a piece that you can style all year long I am wearing a size medium in both the skirt and the turtleneck and that's one thing I want to mention if you are newer to shopping at Lulu's definitely check out the reviews I found that extremely helpful because everyone is so detailed with their sizing information and what size they picked up and there's even photos so you can see how it fits on different body types. I found that extremely helpful when shopping the site so definitely check that out. This pleated skirt has a pull on waistband so it's really comfortable. I would say the sizing is pretty forgiving and it's a little bit thicker so it is flattering along the waist. And then I paired the skirt with this chocolate turtleneck. I feel like these types of sweaters are the pieces I just reach for over and over again. I love that they're a little bit thinner so you can tuck them in and they look really nice. You can dress them up or down. This one was very affordable and I love the chocolate color. Again, I'm wearing a medium. It is a turtleneck so it does have a lot of extra material through here but I like to tuck them in. It just makes the turtleneck feel 10 times more comfortable. If you haven't tried turtlenecks in a while, give this tip a try. I swear by it. Um, and this sweater has a ribbing detail to it and it is very stretchy. All right, to dress this skirt up for the holiday season, I switched out the sweater for this ivory sweater. This is really cozy. It has like these balloon sleeves. I'm wearing a size medium. And then really play up your accessories with this. So you can have fun with a, you know, sparkly or feather bag. And, and then I added in this pearl hair clip just to kind of dress up the look. And then you can really have fun with your heels. And Lulu's has such an amazing selection of shoes. They have really pretty bow heels, like tons of fun party shoes. So I'll link some of my favorites down below. All right, the next look is super fun. I found this feathered mini skirt and I thought this would be really fun to style for the holidays. I am wearing, again, a medium and it fits perfectly. It's not too tight, not too large. Um, and I love where it hits. I paired it with some black tights and then these gorgeous flats. These are definitely a look for less for one of my favorite shoe designers. And they look so much more expensive than they were, that's for sure. They have a very subtle heel to them, so they find them very comfortable. I would say if you're in between sizes, I could be an eight and a half or a nine. I would go with the size down. They do seem a little bit roomier. The pearl detail is just stunning, and they're really large pearls. So I love that. They definitely look more expensive than they were. All right, next is this tweed skirt. I kept on the same sweater, honestly. This piece could go with everything in this haul. It's just a staple kind of neutral piece that you can wear over and over again. I paired it with this gorgeous tweed skirt. I love the colors. It's like really pretty neutrals, like all very soft and light, which I am so drawn to. I will say it's definitely on the shorter side, especially with this little kind of slit in the front. It does have a liner underneath. So I paired mine with tights and I feel much more comfortable in it especially since I have, you know, a little toddler to run around with. Um, so just wanted to mention that there. I'm wearing a medium in this as well. And I just paired it with some knee-high boots or over-the-knee boots. This skirt is easily a favorite from the haul. I love that it's a beautiful soft ivory color and a faux leather with the pleats. Again, it's a little bit more on the shorter side, but I really like the length, especially if you paired it with tights during fall and winter. I kept on the same cream sweater. I feel like it just has such a nice fit. I love that it's a thicker, warmer sweater, but it's not oversized where you have to do more of like a messy front tuck. I feel like you can get a really nice, clean look with this one. And again, I just tucked it under. I didn't even have to tuck it in. 
so that will keep it like bulk free through the waistline. I am again wearing a medium in the skirt and it is a little bit roomier. It just kind of has extra material. It kind of sits nicely though. I definitely would not want to size down because I want as much length as possible in this. And I feel like the size down would definitely be too tight because it fits well through here. It's just the waistband part that's a little bit roomier. And then to finish off this look, I found the most beautiful beret. Are you ready for it? It has this little bow detail. So you can put that on the front or the back. And I love this color. It just ties in perfectly with the look. All right, here is the beret on. It is so cute. I love berets. I really only reach for them during the winter time. I'll definitely be packing them along with me for my trip to New York. This one has a really good shape to it too. It's not too big. I don't feel like I have like a mushroom on my head. <laughs> this skirt is so flattering. It has such a nice shape to it. Comes in a couple different colors. I got the red for the holiday season. I really want it in the houndstooth color as well. That one sold out in my size, but I will definitely be on the lookout for it because now that I've tried this one, it's such a flattering fit. I really like the flounce at the bottom and then it has this more fitted waistband through here and it's very figure flattering. This is one that I actually got a small in. The online reviews said that it ran big and I would definitely agree with that. For this being a small, it's not tight whatsoever. So I would definitely recommend a size down in this one. I kept on that same exact sweater because it goes with everything. Put back on tights and paired it with some boots and to make this a little more festive for the holidays you could just pair it with a fun earring and you are good to go for the holiday season and then you can wear this skirt long after the holiday season. Lulu's is one of my personal go-to's for affordable wedding guest dresses. Anytime I'm sourcing options for y'all that is honestly the first place that I go because they have such a good price point. And again, the reviews are on point. You can see how it looks on so many different body types. So this is one of the affordable wedding guest dresses that caught my eye. It comes in a ton of colors. If you have a very glam holiday office party, it would even be super appropriate for that if you wanted to get it in a different color. This is the blush color and it has a little slit on the side. It's a very flattering fit. I'm wearing a medium and it fits perfectly in the waist and then the top half is a little bit roomier. I love the high neckline and then it has two buttons in the back. It has full coverage. I am wearing a regular bra with this as well, which is a little bit harder to find with wedding guest dresses and I do get that as a request. So this one Definitely checks off the boxes for that and it's under $100 and it looks like a beautiful evening gown. All right, here is another affordable wedding guest dress. This one is just a classic that you could always pull out for so many different occasions. It would even work for holiday as well if you just want something very classic. It's actually just a stretchy material that you step into so there's no zippers. It's just a very clean look all the way around. I do love this neckline. It just feels very regal to me. It has a beautiful mermaid shape to it. It's really comfortable because it's stretchy, so it's easy to walk in. Sometimes mermaids can be like feel like you have to shuffle around. I am also wearing a medium in this dress, and for holiday, I feel like it would look really pretty, like with your hair up and a really nice sparkly earring. All right, next is the sweater dress, and I went with green, which is something I don't typically do, but I was inspired for the holiday season. I think this would be a pretty option if you want to look casual but still nice but not like overly dressed up. I feel like this is a good happy medium and the green's really pretty for the holiday season. This has a really flattering fit to it. It's like a faux wrap style but this feels really nice and secure. I did go with a size small in this one just so it wasn't too big in the chest area. So I really like the little ruffle detail on the end and it is a little bit on the shorter side in the front and a little bit longer in the back. You could definitely pair this with tights if you wanted to do black or brown tights and do it with like a heel if you wanted to dress it up. I kind of made it more casual with some boots, um, but definitely a very figure flattering sweater dress. I don't have any in my wardrobe like this one and I really like the shape to it here. All right, next are these bow shoes, and I'm so glad I was finally able to try these because I have linked to these for quite a while. They have been one of y'all's favorites from Lulu's because they're a look for less to my bow shoes that I have, and they are very similar. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got an eight and a half in these, and they are still 
very big and I would say my normal size at this point is a nine so I would recommend a size down I do feel like they run big and then they also run a little bit taller on the foot as well so if you have a very very shallow narrow foot they may be a little too tall and wide for you. I hope y'all enjoyed today's outfits from Lulu's. Let me know what your favorite picks were from today's video. I'll put my top three in the description box down below. Check it out. That's where all the links are. And thank you again to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. I will see y'all later this week with a new video. Bye.